Hi everyone, welcome to Wednesday's Word. Today is April 29th. This week, Emilia Lopez, Philip Parrish, and Cecilia Martinez are celebrating their birthdays. So happy birthday to all of you. Please remember to pray for the sick, especially Dennis DiCarlo, who is the nephew of Richard Jones. Uh, Dennis is dealing very seriously with this COVID-19. Thank you for all your feedback uh, for the Mass and for Wednesday's Word. We really appreciate your feedback. We're working very hard to improve the sound for Mass. To help you in that regard, every week I post the readings for the week so that you can read along if you can't hear as well. You have the text in front of you as well as a song uh, sheet for each Sunday so that you can sing along with us. And in that same section on the front of the website is the prayer for spiritual communion that you can use on Sundays after we celebrate the Mass, but you also can use it every day to increase your desire to receive the Eucharist. One of the collateral effects of this COVID-19, this pandemic, is that I believe, or at least I hope, we're learning to live with less. We're learning to adapt. We're learning to value the things that really matter. Our consumeristic culture can falsely lead us to believe that we need to fortify ourselves with having things all around us, rather than developing our inner life, our life with God, and our relationships with those around us. The truth is, we have everything we need for our faith journey. I believe or I hope that we're learning to center our hearts on the more the more long-lasting and deeper things rather than on physical stuff. Best of all, we're learning to rely more deeply on God and one another. We're learning that it's important for us to be the one who consoles, for us to be the ones who give energy and who give strength and who give hope to others. The early Christian community dealt with their own pandemic. It was a pandemic of persecution. If you follow along the daily readings, you know that yesterday was the story of our patron Stephen. Stephen was unanimously elected to be a deacon by the apostles. They knew him to be a man of deep faith, a man filled with the spirit. And so he was chosen as a deacon to serve the widows, especially the Greek widows who wanted to be part of the Christian community. St. Stephen was the first martyr of our church. The word martyr means witness. Stephen gave witness to his faith in Jesus, the risen Savior. He held on to his faith even as he was being stoned to death. And he prayed, Lord, Jesus, receive my spirit. And as he fell to his knees and then to the ground and died, Stephen even prayed for those who were his murderers, asking God to forgive them. So this Wednesday's word is about giving witness to our faith, especially now during this pandemic, a pandemic that seeks to take our joy, our hope, our trust, and our faith. COVID-19 is our present day persecution. So it challenges us to live what we proclaim to be true, just like the first followers did 2000 years ago, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. So remember this week, you have everything you need for your journey. Everything you need. God bless you, and God fill your hearts with faith and hope and trust and love.